Okay, everyone, we're gonna be doing a video on Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars. Um, 2 1. I'm gonna have to focus a lot, so by the way. <coughs> uh, by the way, this is Johnny. Uh, I didn't form the entry. Alright. So yeah, basically today we're just gonna be knocking out the second levels. Uh, I actually, I actually deleted my first levels the last episode that I made though. So once I record these, these ones are also gone as well. So anyways, two two. It actually has the blue switches. This is why it's different, as I explained, because it has blue switches that they brought back from like the older games and these switches were first introduced in in the second game of, Mar of the Mario vs. Hong Kong series so that's why anyways we got Peach and Toad and I'm gonna hit blue switch and basically we have to uh, just collect everything we don't want to go to the finish yet because I usually leave those things for last I think that's for the best. Also, we want to have this group. Uh, now that, like, we're gonna need it actually. And we're still gonna need a spring right here. We have a spring actually right here. I don't know why I put it on the spot because uh, I was actually lucky enough to put it there because that would have killed my minis if I didn't do that. Uh, we have the blue switch hit again, which is a good thing. Oh, yeah, we still need the curve. We don't have to put the other spring yet because kind of had to wait on that. We want to jump so that way it's like that, and then right here we don't want to put the spring yet. Up, we're gonna bounce on that spring, and they're also gonna bounce on that one. As you can see this is not that difficult of a level and then we put the spring right there. <laughs> the funny thing is on uh, it's like on the ribbit of the red girder. The red girder ribbit, which is what you make thing which is what you actually build this thing out with. And we're done with the level. Just had to bounce on that one and then we're done. See, that wasn't that bad, it just took a little bit. Actually, we are like, three minutes already. Okay, this is gonna be a freaking 12 minute episode, I guess. So, I did actually make quite a lot of changes to the, uh, the levels in the last episode. Like, the one that you saw, I actually did change because I made a mistake on it. And the seventh level as well. But, next one's our third level, which is the one that... No, I showed you. Uh, all these, most of these will look familiar. Some of them will change, but most of them are are familiar. To, are gonna be familiar. Also, I have the peach back here now, because when I was testing it out, actually the peach went here first, which is not normal. So that's why it did it like that. Anyways, I also have it like set up like this again. So this way, now that the peach is like over here, uh, this they won't get tangled up easily. We want to keep one spring right there, right there. I'm just setting this thing up because we have to. Also, if you notice, the music is a little bit different because, like, we had, um, 
it's it's um uh how how would I describe it? <coughs> it it's that they can only they're only playing the third music instead of like the first one that you heard from like the Mario vs Donk Mario vs Donk coming in him. It's still actually really fun though. This game is so much fun. I've had for it for like the past week. So yeah, is that the third level knockout? We have the, you know, we have the fourth level. Uh, the fifth level is actually a pretty long one. As well. It's kind of a little bit of a tricky one, to be honest. It's a little bit tricky that I actually got it down pretty easily. It just takes a look. It, it wasn't even like that tough. But I'm gonna we're gonna play our multi door level. And as I said, this is gonna be the same thing where I have to take the springs out and move them each like that. Because we don't want Mary finishing the level yet, because then that just results in a game over and we lost. Peach is gonna go to her door. I put this to you. <coughs> and one funny thing I found is that uh, this Peach and the other Peach actually. This one actually just finishes one second faster. Which is like, we get a better score. Because, like. Yeah. Anyways, five to five. I meant, as I explained, it's a little bit actually a longer level because obviously they have like the wider. They have no options of you making like, um, call it wider, bigger. Um, like this is wide enough. Yeah, it's wide. It's also combined with um, uh, midi. No, uh, regular. Uh, thing and that's what makes it good as well um, as for tall it just really doesn't work actually I found out last episode that just kind of really doesn't work with the blocks but anyways let's go on to this this is another again another vertical and here's the tough part well it's not really the tough part it's kind of like you gotta take the girls as you walk And you also gotta take, uh, you know, there's only a couple of springs that you'll actually be using. And one of the things that um, kind of, well, it's not. And one thing that's good is that the minis don't knock themselves each other anymore, unless it's like a little bit of a block. But this won't knock Toad because they actually kind of change. Toad gets on there before they, they probably knock them out so yeah this is um i actually did try to recreate this and it is uh, you can't do it like this and one of the tricky parts here is you gotta get let toe get the hammers but then let the peaches walk like that and we're done with the level because they took out circus kong hey <coughs> That's two five, so that's another newer one. But again, still not too bad. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Obviously, you guys can't play, but I can because Beaver was shut down. I'm just like showing off the levels. The next one is the same one in Mini Man Mayhem as I showed. But except like the ceiling is actually a little bit cut off. I probably should have edited that, but you know what? I don't really care. And we still have only one spring, so remember we have to take this spring and move it as because we only have one and we only have three. Please.
You only have three places to put and that being on well it's four actually technically. We have the pipe, we have the the thing that starts us out, and then we have this. Which is now like uh the high stick again I can I can tell you about the vertical spring is that it reaches for for about four um what you gonna call it? Four blocks. It reaches about four blocks, which I think is a pretty good thing. So we're already at ten minutes, two six is knocked out and and we're about to go into 2.7, which actually, just a little bit of a change. So, I was testing out the level before, and you know how that block, uh, that toad was able to make it on, like, you know, like, this block that was, like, dirt? Well, I tried that, actually, on here, and it actually, and toad, and toad actually ended up dying because he didn't reach that block. So, that's another thing that just kind of threw me off just a little bit, but... I was able to salvage it, which is with, um, another block. Uh, I just needed another one, and that was it. So it wasn't, like, that big of a problem, which just kind of annoyed me a little bit, but then. But that's... Because they need, like, to land on three blocks. And as you saw, the same thing. I don't like, um, bro, once you get to the 6th world, it, that's gonna get tough. The 6th number world, no, world number 6 is pretty difficult. It's not, I don't like the level. Um, and let's go to 8, which is our last level, our key level, obviously. And this is our creation, I guess. But anyways, we just gotta collect stuff. Drop Peach, and we walk really far. Because, yeah, this is actually a longer one. We need a girl. Uh, also, one of the things that I was testing out. Uh, we're already done with the level. Um, one of the things that I was testing out is that you can't actually, like... What you might call it? You can't actually um reach. Uh, so I tried fire girders, and it just didn't work because I thought I was gonna reach that, but she ended up did it not. So that's another level that I I don't know which she did not reach it. So anyways, that's the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. It. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video with three one of the Runaway Warehouse, which actually is very different. Uh, the ones that we had is Rolling Hills, which was the first level. And this is Jumpy Jungle, which is still the same. This one, this time we had the Runaway Warehouse, which still has the conveyors, of course. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.